A leading member of the UDA was shot and killed in Belfast this morning. He was murdered by the INLA, they say, in direct response to the murder of three Roman Catholics in the city in the past eight days. The latest of those Catholic victims, 68-year-old Mrs Mary McKay, who was shot early yesterday, will be buried tomorrow, and two men are now being questioned by the police about her murder. But today's Protestant victim was 32-year-old Billy McCulloch, shot by the INLA just after getting into his car. This report from Chris Moore. Billy McCulloch was shot outside his home in Denmark Street as he prepared to drive off in his car. One of two gunmen on a motorbike shot him six times from point-blank range through the passenger window. He died a short time later in the Matter Hospital. Earlier, he'd taken one of his six children in the car to nursery school. Billy McCulloch was involved in the UDA's Loyalist Prisoners Aid Group, and it's thought he was on his way to an advice centre he helped to run. Today's murder of a leading member of the Loyalist UDA paramilitary group follows a recent spate of attacks on Roman Catholics in Belfast. Four have been murdered in just over three weeks, the latest victim being a 68-year-old woman who was shot dead in her home early yesterday. This afternoon, the INLA said they killed Billy McCulloch in retaliation for those recent murders of Catholics, three of them shot dead in the past eight days. And the bike used by the killers was later found abandoned in the Lower Falls area. Other UDA leaders were quickly on the scene, the same street where there was a murder attempt six months ago on Belfast councillor Sammy Miller, who'd admitted he'd once had connections with the UDA. He survived this INLA attack, but was crippled for life. How did the UDA react to today's murder? The killing of Billy McCulloch goes very deep into this organisation. We feel let down that our uh, attempts to stay out of the violence have been to no avail, and there is great bitterness. Well, now, the, the RUC say they believe that loyalist gangs were responsible for the three recent murders of, of Catholics. What did the UDA say to, say to that? We well, believe that's certainly possible. It's one of the options. We don't know. The UDA was not responsible. That's the one thing that we do know. Billy McCulloch often visited prisons here, and it's possible that is why Republicans were able to single him out. This morning, his wife Barbara and some of his children were in the house when he was shot just outside. 